Hi, in this video I want to have a look at Travis picking again, but this time I want to have a look at how to employ this technique in 3-4 time. If you've watched my previous video on Travis picking, you'll know basically what the technique is. It's playing bass notes on alternating strings of the guitar when playing finger style guitar. Now most of the music I play and most blues music and just most music in general will be played in 4-4 time. Now what 4-4 time is, it means that there's four quarter notes in every beat of the bar and that sets the duration of each bar. Um, as I said, most of the music you'll come across will be in 4-4 time, but occasionally you'll come across another common time signature, which is 3-4 time. And this basically means there's three quarter notes in each bar, or three beats in each bar. Um, and what I want to do in this video is look at how to employ Travis picking in a 3-4 time. It may seem like a straightforward thing on the surface, but it can pose some problems. Okay, so what's the potential problems when employing Travis picking in 3-4 time? Well, the real source of the issue is that you have an uneven number of beats in the bar. Um, like I said, it's when you play alternating bass strings. So if you've got four beats in the bar, what you're doing is you're starting on the lowest bass string here at the start of the bar and go one, two, three, four, like that. And at the start of the next bar, you're back to the lowest bass note here. So each bar will always start with that lowest bass note. Um, and that lowest bass note will be the tonic note of the chord, underlying chord you're playing. So this guitar's tuned open D. Um, so this will always be the lowest D at the start of each bar. And what this does is, it gives the music a, a certain type of structure. It feels right and sounds right when each bar starts with that lowest bass note. And it makes it sound like a 4-4 four, four time piece of music. Um, the problem with 3-4 time is that it's an uneven number. So if we count it out and start at that bass note, it would be 1, 2, 3. And that would be the end of a bar. So if you keep that pattern going, the start of the next bar would be on the higher string. Um, and this can make the music sound slightly uneven and it can make it not sound like a 3-4 time. Something just sounds a wee bit off. Um, it really depends on the underlying chord you're playing. Like I said, this guitar's tuned open D. Um, so both this string and that string, the sixth and fourth string, are both D. So when you would be starting the next bar using 3-4 time, you would be playing a higher note, but it would still be a D but that won't always be the case. Um, there are certain chords you're going to play, quite a lot of them, where this, the alternating string you're playing in the Travis picking pattern will not be the same as a root note and it will sound quite off. Um, this is more a problem when you're writing music or say transcribing a piece in a, a, like a finger style piece. Um, but it is an issue to have a look at and what I want to do now is have a look at it in more depth and look at some potential solutions to this. I now want to have a look at different ways to employ a Travis picking pattern in a 3-4 time. I've picked a piece of music, Amazing Grace, for a number of reasons. One, it's in 3-4 time. Two, I've done a previous video on it showing you the music. And three, because it's such a well-known piece of music, pretty much everyone's heard it so they can relate to that tune. Okay, the first technique I want to have a look at is basically just to play it with a straight Travis picking pattern, meaning that you just alternate between bass strings like that. And that means that every second bar will be starting with a bass string on the higher note. Now, as long as the underlying chord's right, it is not going to sound out of tune. But to me, it just sounds a wee bit off, and it's almost like you're trying to play something in 4-4 four, four time that should be played in 3-4 time. 
something just sounds a bit off about to me. It won't sound out of tune, it just sounds a bit disjointed. Um, so what I'll do is I'll play through it, I'll put the music on screen and I'll let you hear it and see what you think. Like I said, it can be played like this, something just sounds a wee bit off. Okay, I don't know how you found that previous piece of music. Like I said, it's not that it was out of tune, but it just something feels a bit disjointed, like you're trying to shoehorn a 3-4 piece of music in a 4-4 four, four time or in an even time signature. And I think it what it does is it loses that character that a 3-4 piece of music should have. So the next technique I want to have a quick look at is basically not using the Travis picking pattern. So instead of having alternating bass notes, like so, what we're going to have is non-alternating bass notes. So the bass notes will just be played on one string, like so. Um, so I'll let you have a listen to this and see how you think it sounds. Um, for me, when playing it like this, you lose the Travis picking pattern, obviously. So you lose that that interest that you get from having the alternating bass strings and the music just sounds a bit flatter for it. <laughs> That previous one did help retain the 3-4 character music, but it did sound quite flat because there was no alteration in the bass notes when playing through. Um, in this next one, what I want to do is I want to play the Travis picking pattern, um, but just repeat it in each bar. So what I want to do is go and just do that in each bar. So what you'll get is um, a note on the lowest, then a higher bass string, and then two on the lowest um, bass string, when it, from one from the end of the first bar and then one from the start of the second bar. Um, again, this technique works okay in retaining three, four character of the song. It gives a fuller sound, but it, again, it just sounds a bit off because it's not alternating all the time between bass strings and you get the two strings on the same note. Um, but I'll play through it and I'll let you see what you think. Okay, in the next example, what I want to do um, is put two bass notes in each bar. So because there's three quarter notes in each bar, what I want to do is put a quarter note and then a half note. So it'll be a quarter note on the lowest bass string, then a half note on the highest bass string like that. Um, and what that means is at the start of the next bar, you will be back to the lowest bass string. Now, again, this, this uh, technique uh, does help retain the three, four character of the music, but the downside is that the end of each bar, it can sound a wee bit hollow because you don't have all the bass notes. You're only playing two bass notes in each bar, but I'll play through it and see what you think. <laughs> Okay, that previous piece of music, I think it helped retain the 3-4 character of the music, 
but I think the downside was that it tended to lack the the fullness of having um, those bass notes in. Because there was only two bass notes at the end of each bar, it tended to feel a wee bit hollow. Um, but it's really a matter of personal opinion, a lot of this. Anyway, I'll go on to another technique now. Um, and the, the last technique I want to talk about is putting four notes in each beat of the bar. Now, because it's in three, four time, that's three quarter notes in each beat of the bar. Um, so to put four notes in, um, you're going to have to shorten the duration of some of the notes. So what I'm going to do in this one is I'm going to have two quarter notes and two eighth notes in each bar. Um, and what that'll do is it'll be four bass notes in each bar. And at the start of every bar, you'll be going back to the lowest bass string. Um, how you want to put these notes together in the bar is up to you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play a quarter note two eighth notes and another quarter note, but realistically you could put the eighth notes in wherever you like. I just think that this one sounds good. Um, and I think that this, this technique sounds good because it gets a lot of bass notes in, so it has a nice fullness of sound. Um, still retains that Travis picking pattern and still keeps the feel of that three, four time. The only downside to doing it like this is it's quite tricky to play because you've got to, you know, alter your, your thumb picking between eighth and quarter notes um, quite quickly in each beat of the bar. So I'll let you have a listen to this and see what you think. <laughs> Okay, I prefer that last uh, method um, as the best for me. Um, I found it retained the 3-4 character of the music well um, and also provided the fullness of sound with all the bass notes in there. Anyway, I hope this video has proved useful in having an analysis of, you know, Travis picking in 3-4 time. Um, and I hope if you're if you're writing music like this or playing Travis Picken um, in a 3-4 piece of music that you can look at some of these techniques and maybe employ them to get the, the sound that's best for you. Thanks for watching.